there is one thing that you absolutely need to know how to do on your GPS. And that one skill will get you a 90% solution when you are navigating outdoors. So as we're about to shed our layers and uh, welcome spring here, I'm really hoping that I, you guys can brush up on your navigation skills so that you can find where you want to go and then of course come back home safely. And so that's what we're going to be working on today. So GPSs, whether they're more simple like this eTrex or more sophisticated like this Garmin 62, they have a ton of options, right? So you can track weather and hunting and fishing. You can record your tracks or you can set a track ahead of time, like a route, and then follow that route. You can change the map datum that you're using. You can use it for geocaching. There's really some endless options on these things. And I, I have seen that both beginners and um, you know, more experienced outdoors people get overwhelmed when they are looking into all these options. And from my experience, canoeing the whole Yukon River, doing a ton of canoe trips in the Boundary Waters canoe area, um, some backcountry travel all over in uh, Utah for three years, and search and rescue for about the ten, last 10 years, I have really used one skill on these GPSs the majority of the time. And the rest of the time, it's, yeah, you, you make your life easier with the other skills, but please don't overwhelm yourself. So let's get into it. That one skill is you being able to set a point at your campsite, your car, a safe spot that you know you can get back to and get warm and be found. And that spot, you need to save that spot and then you can wander wherever in the world and you tell the GPS to bring you back to that spot and you know you have a warm car or your sleeping bag or whatever waiting for you. And so that is what I'm going to show you right now. So before I spin you around and show you the GPSs, make sure you're taking a compass. GPSs have batteries, they're electronics, things can go wrong. Compasses just work. Now I'm going to have a video on the easiest possible way to explain and learn how to use a compass without worrying about this dial or anything to that degree. This is a good time to say uh, subscribe so you get those notifications. Okay, so we're going to show you this eTrex and the 62S. Both of them have those same options where what we're looking for is a mark and find. So that's literally this, this skill that you want. You need to be able to return to a point. So to do that, if we're at this campsite, then we need to use these buttons to toggle through the pages. So this one, there's a little image of pages there. This one says... Uh, menu or page on it. And what we're looking for is mark. So with this one, we're going to have to toggle down. There's very few that are touch screen, but we're going to toggle down the to mark and we're going to select that. Okay. And we're going to get to the same point on the 62. We're going to use this button right here called mark. Makes it easy. So we end up at this screen. Now you can see the coordinates here so 47 52 291 this one is 0 092 0 7 9 9 4 and 9 9 3 so you can see that these two gps's are registering basically the same this is going to be within a few feet so no worries there so we have this mark so as you see it gives us this point in the world and now we want to remember this so we're just going to have to again use that toggle in this, we're going to use this little arrow, and we need to get to that number, and then select that, and we're just going to we're just going to call this car. So C again. This is all the little. It's like a little toggle joystick here. C A R. We'll get to the same place on the sixty-two. Have to enter. I'm trying to see through the. The phone screen here, enter a R. Okay. And then there's usually a done or an enter. Okay. So for this one, oh, we've got an okay. All right. So now, as you can see, we have car in there. And then 
we're going to go down and to enter store this we're going to say okay or done or enter something like that enter okay so now that we've marked our fictitious car at this rock here uh, we're going to walk away and i'm going to show you navigating back to that here we go Woo. all right so right there this is our fictitious car with my uh, jacket and notebook so we're just going to go for a quick little walk here this little ledge here okay we probably don't even need to go any further than this just for the demonstration <laughs> all right so we have our GPS's here. We walked a couple hundred feet away, maybe, maybe not even that far. And all we're gonna do is navigate back now. So the other half of this skill of finding our safe spot. Find here, we're gonna select that. And then find waypoints, okay? I'm gonna go do the same thing over here. So we're gonna go to find this button here. Find another waypoint, okay. Both of these uh, have car right at the top, and that's because they're the closest. So I only went 112 feet, it looks like. And so we select that. Okay. And we select this with the uh, enter. Okay. And we're going to hit go. And on this one, we're going to go go to and select. Okay. So now both of these just have these maps pulled up. And these tiny little arrows in here that, I mean, you know, you can sort of navigate with them, but good luck. So what we're going to do is change um, pages now. So with this, I can hit the same page button. And now notice that almost everything I did, I turned it on, I navigated the pages, and then I selected and, you know, did the letters and everything. And it's just these three buttons. Yes, there's more over here. These three did 90% of it. So now it's telling me 130 feet in that direction. Okay, this one here. Uh, this one is a page that's going to hit go to compass and then it's going to point. And this is saying 130. This one's saying 114. Kind of see where I came from here. I don't think they're pointing exactly at it. That's okay. Here's the trick. See that? See, now it's pointing the way. Satellites can't really tell which direction you're heading and where you need to go unless you move a little bit. And I'm going to spin around here, and you see the e tracks is just pointing wherever I spin to. The 62 is kind of keeping up. Yeah, that's doing a little better. It's in the general direction anyway. Okay, but if I walk... And I walk about 20 feet in any direction, just in a straight line. You can see that they line up there. So they are now pointing right over that way. Now if I pick up my phone. Okay, so you can see they are pointing basically towards this tree. The jacket is right over there. Now it will probably correct itself. So let's follow these exactly. So we're following it here. We look where they're pointing. And now, again, whoop, they're pointing about here. The bag is there. Pretty darn good. Okay, so we'll keep going here. We're just following these arrows. Very, very close. See, now I set them right here where we took these points. e -trek says five feet away. And the 62 says seven feet away, which is perfect. GPSs are not perfect in like zero feet. They're going to get you really close. Uh, there's, it depends what satellites and what angles are at, how many satellites you have that are all kind of working together to, to get you this information. Uh, but that, you know, five, six, 10, 20 feet even is really, really close. And obviously you should be able to see your car at that point. So you might want to watch this video a couple times as you're using your GPS and really just hone in on those basic skills. When you see the other menu options, these other uh, features, just ignore those. Don't get overwhelmed with all the buttons, all the options, all the menus. Just focus on being able to find your safe spot in the world. Okay.
If this was at all useful, encouraging any of that, then please hit that like button. It's super helpful. Consider subscribing. I would check out the video right up here that YouTube says you're going to love, or you can check out the playlist up here that is all about orienteering. And I'll be adding to this very soon. Thank you.